Greetings. Today we'll be looking at how ServiceNow helps security incident response teams tackle their work far more efficiently and effectively than ever before. We'll start with the big picture and then dive into the key elements of the solution. It is typical to see a 40 to 60 percent reduction in time to resolve security incidents when converting from more manual and disparate handling processes thanks to integrations and automation. When results like these are achieved, our customers can use dashboards like this one to report on their status. First, will be assuming the role of Chief Information Security Officer, Andrew Lin. The Security Operations Efficiency Dashboard is one of several included with Security Incident Response. Here we can see big picture trends and break them down by aspects, such as analyst efficiency and group efficiency. And here on the Detection and Response Effectiveness tab, we could see true detections versus false positives, or by incident source or what business risks exist over time here on the Incident Risk Score Analysis tab, or perhaps by incident stage here on the Security Incident Stage Analysis tab. For example, mean time to analyze, contain, eradicate, recover, and review are all automatically tracked and displayed here. Users can also create their own reports and dashboards too. Our customers appreciate the ability to build dashboards for their teams and leadership. This custom dashboard is a great example of what can be rapidly built using our GUI-based report engine and drag-and-drop dashboards. Dashboard tabs can be created to organize the data. In this example, the Innocent Handling tab provides extra detail for different groups, but they can be arranged and styled however any individual user prefers. The Now platform is now fully integrated with the MITRE ATT&CK framework for threat intelligence which can provide valuable insights that security professionals need to get work done better every day. MITRE ATT&CK can assist security leaders in managing security programs by helping them understand how the various defensive systems are performing and identify where there may be any gaps. The MITRE ATT&CK heat map and navigator can provide immediate visibility into patterns where the department is seeing any concentration of incidents or is dealing with relevant vulnerabilities. It also provides a quick visual of the current security posture for detecting and defending against each of these attack techniques. All of this helps the CISO understand where investments of time and resources are most needed. Here, we're setting a filter group to show how the heat map and navigator functions and the changes that occur as we set those filters. Watch the heat map change as we do. This is an extremely valuable resource when it comes to thwarting the attack patterns that impact and threaten the organization the most, such as those from advanced persistent threat groups like APT-29 during the Solar Winds breach. You can see, as we add in this final data point of the known adversary group, it draws in all the known techniques of this APT. The CISO can drill down into each of these, but moreover, this shows the current organizational posture and defense against this known advanced persistent threat. So you can see that we're getting everything in one place, but you might be asking yourself, how did we get here? It all starts with integrations. They're out-of-the-box integrations with security sensors and SIM platforms such as Azure Sentinel, QRadar, ArcSight, Logarithm, Splunk, Splunk Enterprise Security. Threat intelligence platforms are also very helpful for security incident handling, saving analysts time with automated threat lookups. Customers can request these integrations for their instances right from the store here. Once installed, these applications can be configured inside your ServiceNow instance. Some simply require API keys, such as Shodan here, while others have more options like setting a schedule or adding filters to the data that we want. Phishing emails come in a variety of different formats, and often they include a malicious attachment. Analysts can now submit malicious attachments for in-depth malware analysis using the CrowdStrike Falcon Sandbox integration. The integration allows for both manual and automated submissions as well as a variety of other settings. This provides the possibility for the Sandbox submission results to be completed during the triage process and ready when the analyst first opens the security incident. Now let's see how the platform helps incident handlers get work done faster and more effectively every day. Here we are in the Security Incident Response workspace and acting as Incident Handler, Adam Long. From here, the analyst sees incidents that are assigned to them or their team. With customizable filters, they're able to quickly navigate the pool and review automated triage details. Let's look at a recent incident that has been created automatically. The analyst opens it in a new tab. 
they can keep multiple incidents open at a time if they need to multitask while automations run. It looks like this is a phishing report from Robert Smith. In the old days, the analysts used to have to watch an inbox and do all of this triage, threat analysis, and risk calculation manually. But now when they log in, all of that legwork has been done for them. Employees can simply hit a report fish button in their email client or forward in that suspicious email, and ServiceNow will do all of that work automatically. In the Overview tab, the analyst has the most pertinent information related to the incident. The analyst has access to a wide range of information at their fingertips showing the business impact of the asset and user, what threat intelligence has been acquired in relation to the incident, by finding and by type, if there are any response tasks in place for the incident, and related security incidents that are either similar or child incidents. The analyst can also see all the information that is stored in the security incident table by looking in the details tab. Within the investigation tab, the analyst can dig into any of the details of the security incident, such as who is affected by it. In this case, it's Robert Smith, the first person to report this phishing email, as well as others. The analyst also benefits from this deduplication. This email has been reported by several other individuals, but it's all gathered into one security incident. And we could see the number of configuration items that have also been targeted by this phishing email. Next, the analyst takes a look at the email that has been reported and sees a familiar pattern. The COVID-themed phishing emails have been coming in a lot lately. Parsed observables end up here, along with whether or not they are deemed malicious from threat lookups that have already been run upon creation of the incident. The analyst doesn't need to be an expert in dozens of products to leverage all of their organization's threat sources. Here we see the playbook pane. The analyst can see where they are in their team security automation playbook for phishing response. Security incident response comes with dozens of flows like this one, and these are configurable via a Kanban style graphical editor in process automation designer and flow designer. When tasks are created, they end up in the playbook. We can see where automated lookups were executed and completed. Again, steps and any detailed guidance here are completely configurable, making it easier than ever to architect and use these playbooks. For example, the threat intelligence orchestration we discussed has taken place. The person who reported the phishing incident was automatically contacted via email to thank them for their submission. Sometimes this kind of work is less predictable, so, of course, any of the automated steps we show can also be done manually in the UI. Now that these first automated steps have been completed and the analyst only needs to review and confirm the findings, once they do, the playbook will take care of the rest. Finding and deleting these malicious emails across all users' inboxes, performing firewall blocks for phishing URLs, and searching SIM and log platforms for any other potential victims. The analyst agrees with the automated analysis, so they complete this task to fire the second half of the playbook. While these steps are being automated in the background, let's quickly peek at how they are done manually. To perform a firewall block request manually, instead of letting ServiceNow doing it automatically, we can pick an IP or URL, check the box next to it, select block request, select which tool we're going to use to block it, and then submit. This works the same way with citing search to find any matching logs. and can search for matching emails and delete them. In this case, we've added an approval in our workflow to QA that work before any emails are deleted. If there's an asset in play, they can be added automatically or manually. For example, the analyst can add one to the incident manually and isolate that host from the network if needed. Forensic evidence can also be retrieved automatically or manually from devices such as information about network communications. This is in addition to simply having any available CMDB information for context. The only thing left for the analyst to do now is complete the post-incident review. Here they can close out the incident and complete any assessments or post-incident reports. Today we've looked at how ServiceNow is helping security incident handlers by providing a single system of record and action, automating manual tasks, orchestrating security processes, improving prioritization with integrated threat analysis and business impact triage, enhancing collaboration between security and IT, and providing big picture analytics necessary to track and improve KPIs.